Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sunny Side. I'm Sunny, and these are the weekly horoscopes for the week of October 25th to October 29th, 2020, 2021. Horoscopes and tarot reading <clears throat> for all signs. For those of you who are new, <laughs> new here, I'm a professional astrologer. I used to write tons of horoscopes for the newspapers up in Canada, and now I'm doing the horoscopes for you guys. Uh, I'm, I wrote the horoscopes this week, just to let you know, but we'll also be showing you what's going on astrologically. Uh, on these, oh, so if you want a personal reading, hit the PayPal link in the description box below. In addition to that, I'm going to do a general overview for you guys, astrological overview. Then I'm going to do a tarot reading for you guys. Then we're going to do the individual signs. If I get dis distracted, there are timestamps in the description box, right? If I get distracted, it's because I'm shooting this video live and the sunny siders are distracting me a little bit. And that's the action. Everybody cool? All right, let's get down to it. So here we Almost go. Oh, I'll use this computer. Hey, Anessa, what's up? I hope you're having an amazing day. All right, timestamps. Overview. Timestamps, overview. 9.30. Close enough. Okay, that's the overview. Here we go. Check this out. So we'll drop this down. Make sure you guys can see this. This is the chart for this week. We'll spin it as we move along. Check this out, guys. So there's good news and bad news. The good news is we are mostly out of all the crazy stuff, which is really good news. Okay, so here we go. If you guys can see this. So here's what's going on this week. So do you remember as early as last week, Mars right here in Libra at 26 degrees was making a little, it made a pass of Neptune it made a pass of, at Jupiter, and then it made a pass at Pluto. And you can see all of the aspects are different. Like the aspect from Libra to Pisces is a different aspect uh, than from Libra to, say, Aquarius, or, say, from Libra to uh, Pluto. And each of these big planets more or less represent a different part of not Saturn. Saturn's not in this fight right now. These big planets represent a major part of your life right now. <clears throat> and so Mars, which is your active energy, it's stuff that's happening. Like you're walking around doing your Mars, la, 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 la. And then when it hits these planets over here, Mars is suddenly filled with a dreamy quality. Like, oh, you know, maybe I can do it. Or it's filled with a lot of optimism and a lot of Mars, a lot of running around. Or you're going to take a chance on your luck. More or less, right? Depending on the aspect. But we're not quite at aspects yet. And then we had Pluto. Pluto is the change and Pluto is retrograde. So Pluto is doing all of its nonsense. When these planets are retrograde, they're doing just flat out nonsense. And now that the planets have gone direct, well, Mars is over here and you're thinking, la, 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 doing your thing. And then you find out that this Pluto was all effed up or this Jupiter was a little, you know, overly optimistic for no reason or this... Neptune was a little bit excessively dreamy for no particular reason. And so that's what we just went through. And it just, it was a little out of control <clears throat> for better or worse. Now we're going to go through the exact same thing, these same events. However, the events are going to be triggered by Venus. You guys catching all this action? So Venus at 19 degrees is about to make a pass at Neptune. But you can see Sagittarius to Pisces is not the most harmonious aspect in the world, right? <laughs> and so Venus is not really going to jiggy vibe with this, uh, with the Neptune scene, which is, uh, a, which is like Neptune and Venus when they're in alignment. It's kind of like blind love or letting things slide. But with this square that's going to happen this week, you're going to see some really ugly happen. Venus is how you want to do things. And Neptune is the rose-colored glasses. So just like Mars wants to get things done, Venus wants to get things done as well. And you're going to try and get Venus, you're going to try and do your Venus in the next little week. You're going to try and be lovey and do your thing. And you're going to be optimistic and philosophical. You're going to continue, and try, for the most part, jokey uh, to some extent. Uh, but when it hits this square to the Neptune, and it's going to happen at the beginning of the week, you're going to be like, Ugh, your dreams and desires are going to get frustrated, man. Or uh, another way to look at it, because it's a square, you're going to have to capitulate. What does capitulate mean, Sonny? It means to whip it out and shake it at everybody who walks by. 
Really? Not necessarily. To capitulate, like, you're going to have to give in to the other person a little bit this week. It's not going to be... Uh, it's not going to be Venus attracting all of your dreams. It's going to be Venus. Uh, it's going to be Venus uh, square all of your dreams. So you're going to have to compromise somehow. So just chill out and compromise. Then we have Venus is going to make this, you know, moderately auspicious angle to Jupiter. So you guys might, you know, in the beginning of the week, it might be like, okay, you're going to have to give in a little bit. But as the week progresses. You're going to, you're going to like, it's going to be okay. So give in a little bit at the beginning of the week, reap the rewards later on in the week. And there's a possibility that Sagittarians are really going to make a lot of money this week or win the lottery. Later on, <clears throat> later on towards the end of the week, Venus is going to make this aspect of Pluto. And although it's not an extremely strong aspect, you can expect obsessive behavior to happen later on in the week. Then, as Venus crosses into next week and begins to make a formal charge towards Pluto, you're going to see love and attraction in this change that uh, you're kind of stuck, you're stuck with whether you want to accept it or not. Venus is going to make it, it's going to, it's going to gloss things over a bit. So if you have legal battles um, or someone is working against you or there are problems at work or problems in relationships, this week... You're gonna have you're gonna be frustrated. <laughs> you're gonna be frustrated a little at the beginning of the week, but as things move forward, there's a possibility for uh, an amicable resolution or to move forward. I didn't see you guys are well. I said amicable resolution, but I didn't see you guys are necessarily getting back together. I think there's a strong possibility you guys are just gonna move forward uh, with whatever you're doing, but it's not gonna be as big of a fight until Mars. Yeah, crosses into the mix. And when Mars crosses into the mix, it is going to be a big fight, but not yet. Right now, right now, this is a Venus energy week. So instead of fighting, instead of surprises, very much, you can very much expect uh, some of your desires to be frustrated a little bit. And that's the deal. I don't think anybody should freak out. <laughs> Mars isn't about to mess with anybody. See, 26 degrees as you go wrong, there's nothing really... 26 degrees. So Mars is kind of void, of course, a little bit, so to speak. Not really, but a little bit. Uh, so I wouldn't stress that out. It looks like it's Venus's turn to get into the action. Of course, the sun is just uh, about to peek through, but whatever. Things are moving into Scorpio, so Scorpio season. So guys are going to be all like horny and blame it on astrology and stuff. And that's the deal. That's what's going on with the overview. You got it, Rebel. Let me um, write you in right here. All right. Hey, Wing One, what's up? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Okay, it's going to... Um... All right, so next, we're going to do the tarot cards. <laughs> next, we're going to do the tarot cards for everybody. And then we'll, uh, hey, Erica, did you send me, um, oh, right on. Oh, right on. Oh, oh, I just saw this from Stephanie K. Oh, thanks, Annie. I'll definitely, uh, okay, I haven't seen it. I haven't looked at it yet, but we'll see it. All right, let's look at Erica's cards. Let's, we're going to read the cards for everybody. <laughs> it's so, sorry, I'm just checking my stuff back here. Thanks, Annie. I totally saw it. Hey, Eleni, what's up? Sagittarius, both. Uh, I would say Sagitt both. Sagittarius rising and Sagittarius sun. Okay, one sec. Let's, let's do our thing. <laughs> let's do our thing. We're going on to the tarot cards right now. So we'll do the tarot cards, and then we'll read Rebel's cards. Oh, we'll read Erica's cards first. Erica Rebel. All right, let me just put the timestamp in, and then we'll read Rebel's cards, and then we'll do our thing. We'll continue on with our thing. And Rebel is down here in 19. You have to capitulate on your birthday. What? <laughs> so funny. Oh, hey, Gabrielle, what's up? I hope you're having a wonderful day. A <laughs> baggie's not new, just a lurker. Okay, one sec. Where did, where did, what am I even looking for? Oh, Rebel. 
What did Rebel say? Rebel had a question here. Rebel, can you type it in again? I'm, not, I'm missing it right here. It's right here somewhere. Ah, oh, thanks, Annie. I got it. Oh, yeah. No, Priestess. Not at all. In a weekend. I have you on the list and everything. I'm just waiting. You and JM are on the list. But I'm going to read Rebel's cards right now. But Rebel had a question. Oh, love interest. Okay, let's do love interest. Erica, Rebel, love interest. Oh, no, 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 no. Priestess, I'm waiting for a phone call from you, and we'll set it up properly. And I'm curious as well. <laughs> I'm curious as well. You know, the astrology was, this is the difficult weekend. Where if you guys made it through this weekend, I think you guys, most people are going to be okay. That was a difficult weekend. The beginning of the week is going to be confusing for a lot of people. But I think you guys, I don't know. If you guys made it to today, not everybody made it to today. Seriously, people are all over the place. But if you made it to today, you're going to be okay. Oh, my God. Gabrielle has Scorpio vision now. What does that mean? What does that mean? What is that? Oh, my God. A Virgo with Scorpio vision is dangerous. Oh, man. I bet it's, it's better than a... I bet it's probably better than a Scorpio with a Virgo vision. That guy would be an asshole. Okay, here we go. Rebel is up. Queen of coins. Rebel. So money looks really good. Need to tape. Ooh. Oh. Like an audio? Like, oh, Lasix. Oh, you got the Lasix done. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, super congrats. No more glasses for Gabrielle. That's really cute. <laughs> That's really cute. Okay, she needs a tape. Like an audio tape. I can probably do that. And I can send it to her. I'll have to call and record. Annie, I think I can do that. I could just record it on the computer. <laughs> so I can do an audio as we talk, I think. I'll see what I can do. I'll send her a call. I'll call her and I'll see what I can do. Okay. Gabrielle's going to be okay. It's great. Congratulations on the eyeballs. And a cassette. Oh, I'm not sure if I can do a cassette. I don't know what I have here in Chicago. I'll have a look and see what I can do. I'll have a look and see what I can do. I'll see, I'll check, I'll see what I can do. All right, Rebel, Queen of Coins. First up, Rebel, Queen of Coins. Oh, well, I'm excited about the eyes. Gabrielle, I'm excited about the eyes, I really am. I want to know if it works. I wonder if I'll be still be psychic if I get the... I don't know. You're welcome, Annie. I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. <clears throat> Maybe I can go to Goodwill and find a tape thing. Does this thing work like that? All right, it works. It's a little bit weird looking. Well, I can, oh, son of a gun. Okay, here we go. Back to Rebel's reading. Okay, Rebel, Queen of Coins. So watch your money. It should be a nurturing situation, but you want your love life. So it's an, so you might end up, you got it, wing one, but yeah. Well, you know, Annie, I can record it and I can record it. I'll just have to find a way to send it to her. I'll put, I'll do a, a I'll find a way to send it to her with a link. She could, she could be able to get it. Okay. Next. Wait, I got to get the horoscopes done. I wrote them and everything. Okay, Rebel. So it's a love reading. So you might be mothering somebody. Erica, you might be mothering somebody. <laughs> okay, somebody might be mothering you. There might be money involved in your love life, but it looks pretty good. Maybe you're going to, I don't think you're going to meet somebody at work, but, but you might. But the Queen of Coins is taking care of finances, but it looks pretty good. It looks, looks like a guy who's going to want to spend some money on you and take care of you. Oh, no, what a shitty card to get. Oh, <laughs> then, Erica. Oh, my God. What a crappy card. I mean, 
you know, with all things, there's, you know, there's a good side and a bad side to all things. Oh my God, you want, you're, the Hermit card is not the greatest card for a love reading. It says you're going to have to spend some time by yourself to figure it out. Oh my God. Well, there looks like, there does look to be money involved in the situation, but it, it doesn't look like there's a dearth of money. It looks like there's, Oh, there's money and the guy's got, someone's got money, so you shouldn't be, really be a problem. And they're more than willing to pay the bill, so it shouldn't be, would be a problem. But then you got the hermit card, which is like the dry spell. It's like alone time, taking it easy. This is not what you want to see in relationships. Unless he's on a trip or something. Maybe he's on a trip. Maybe he's on, um, uh, oh, that's cool, wing one. Oh, no, Rush, I'll be back. I'm going to be back reading it. I'm be, I'm going to be here for another week. So at least I'll be here for another week, at least before I go to Vegas, because I have a bunch of legal stuff I have to do and <sighs> working things out with SLC. So there's lots of time for readings this week. I had private readings yesterday. That's why I couldn't come online. So there's uh there's lots of time. All right. The hermit card rebel. That sucks. Maybe, maybe lucky star. Oh my God, Rebel, that sucks, the Hermit card. That's the alone time. That's the dry spell. Oh my God, then the Strength card reversed. Maybe you guys are going to get into a fight. Oh my God. Well, the Strength card reverse is to control yourself. I get the feeling the guy's not talking to you for some reason. But I don't think it's that negative. I think he's at work. <laughs> I think he's at the Queen of Coins. He's out there making money. Oh my God, Rebel. What the hell can I say? All right, one more card and let's see what happens. So strength of card reversed. Don't freak out. Don't you're gonna freak out anyway, so whatever. Um this doesn't it looks like there's a bit of a lone time in the relationship and you're freaking out. Hey, the magician card! Hey rebel! Hey rebel, check it out. You got the magician card. Look at this. What a great card. Oh, it's definitely been crazy all over the place. Hey rebel, check it out. It looks like things are going to be really good for you guys. Maybe you're going to take your relationship to the next level. Maybe you're going to take a vacation. Maybe you're going to surprise each other with something. But the magician is all about manifesting. It's about making that journey happen. So the relationship is really in your own corner. What a great way to do this reading. So money is there. It's a little bit of a money's really money should be fine. But then the hermit card says, you know, someone's trying to someone might be backing away. Someone might need some alone time. Someone might need to figure something out. Someone's upset or angry about something and they might not be showing it. But the magician card says things are going to, things are absolutely going to work out. You're going to get what you want. So Erica, one foot in front of the other and go do it. Yeah, well, it definitely looks like things are muddled. <laughs> it looks like you guys are ghosting each other and arguing. But the magician says things are going to work out. So have faith. Rebel, have some faith. Like, seriously, well, the cards didn't start off the greatest, but they sure they they finished quite strongly. <laughs> and so right on, Erica, Erica, go for it. The magician card is a great card. So just do your thing and then let it do it. You know, just do your thing. Have a little faith and uh, expect the guy to come back. You know, expect him to come back, expect him to be happy, expect, you know, this is. Last week was a bit of a messed up week. The weekend was probably a little difficult. Tomorrow's going to be tricky. But as the week progresses, it's going to get significantly more optimistic. So that's what I think, Rebel. I think you should just go for it. Take it easy. Go for it. You know what? I should probably make this screen a little bigger instead of just half the screen like this, right? And so... Pisces and Leo. Sure, why not? <laughs> Pisces and Leo are good enough. Okay, let's do the cards for everybody. All right, guys, let's do it. Time to guess the cards. What do you guys think? Oh, my God. What do I think? What do I think? I think the world card. I have a feeling the world card. Here's what I'm thinking. The world card. And I thought of something else earlier. The high priestess just popped into my head. But I, let's see if the cards and I are talking today. The world card. Oh, justice. Not justice. 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 Yeah, justice, but I'm sorry, but I think the, the high priestess for some reason. Justice, the world card. Um, 
Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords, no Wands. Eight of Swords. I don't think anyone is putting a fast one on. I think we're moving forward. I think it's like a Four of Wands kind of thing. Not necessarily like a Four of Swords kind of thing, but it's a Four of Wands. But I feel, hey, Vortex, what's up? Oh, you got it. You got it, Vortex. Let me just write you down here. You're going to be in the, the description box right here. What's that other one, Vortex? Relationship with your mom? You got it. The hermit? What do you think? You got it, Vortex. We'll cruise it through as we go through. Six of Swords, Two of Swords, Judgment. I think maybe Judgment. Judgment, Justice. Hermit, you guys are really thinking the Hermit, huh? All right, let's see what we got. Maybe the Sun card. I, and actually, you know what? I should fix this screen. The screen is a little silly like this. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's do it. First up. Four of Swords. You think Four of Swords meditation? I think you need patience. All right. Let's see what we got. What did I say? Eight of Swords? And whatever. Okay. Here we go. Two of Cups. Oh, memes. You're such a romantic. Okay. Here we go. Page of Swords. Here we go. First up, guys. Page of Swords. Oh, lessons in communication, everyone. There you go. Running around, learning your lessons, new ways to communicate with each other, learning each other's love language. Maybe there's someone new on the horizon that you have to keep your eyes on. Uh, maybe you guys think you're going to get computers, cell phones. I doubt it. It's more along the lines of communication or ideas or new ways to speak with someone. Uh, are you guys really going through that? New ways of communicating with people? Right on. Judgment for a love reading, it means it's judgment. It's to be called out. It's to have a conversation before you can move on. All right, next. Is karma cloned? Those are all good questions. Oh, he's pulled inwards, Erica? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> the hermit card, definitely. All right, page of swords, next. Hey, eight of cups reversed, guys. So Eight of Cups reversed. It looks like guys are stuck in a situation. It looks like there's some kind of inevitable that's happening. Like someone is is like someone is ready to check out. Definitely someone's ready to check out emotionally and they're ready to get on with things. And it's reversed, so they're stuck. There's also a possibility someone can't make up their mind. Maybe with a Page of Swords, someone is being childish. Someone's being impulsive. Maybe someone's giving in to their emotions. Maybe someone is overreacting. Just keep your shit together, people. <laughs> keep your shit together. <laughs> Someone's being childish and emotional and threatening to leave or some kind of thing like that. That's kind of funny. Oh, my God. I called it. Oh, I called it. Oh, sa, ni, sa, ni, sa, ni, sa, ni. Oh, who's the most psychic psychic in the world? Oh, I should know that. That should be pretty easy. Do you need to be psychic to know who's psychic? <laughs> Does it help? <laughs> oh, my God. Eight of swords. Deal with it. Whatever. Can't believe I didn't see that one coming. You see that one coming, motherfucker? <laughs> I see them all coming. Eight of Swords, here we go. Tell me I didn't call that. Okay, here we go. Eight of Swords. You guys are blind. You guys are blind, motherfuckers. <laughs> so, I mean, we all are. Unless you're a Pisces. This is a general reading for everyone except... No, you guys are just teasing Pisces. Eight of Swords. Thanks, memes. Hey, the tarot cards are talking to me again. Oh, my God. You know, it was Michael. Is Michael still here? Michael's the one who told me to do that. Pisces tarot. I mean, New Age tarot. He's the one who said, he's the one who said, when I was having trouble in Vegas, he's the one who kept saying, Sonny, listen to the little voice. Listen to the little brain, Sonny. Listen to the little brain. <laughs> That's not exactly what he said. 
Oh, thanks, Annie. No, Annie, I'll give her a call and we'll figure it out. We'll, we might call her twice. Oh, thanks, Ginger. <laughs> that was really funny. Hey, Elle, did you get it as well? Oh, right on. Oh, uh, you're welcome, Erica. Hey, Rebel, just Rebel, just be cool. Oh, we have one more card to go. Eight of Swords. Hey, Rebel, just be cool. There was there's a lot of a lot astrological stress that's happening in the world in the last week, and this week is going to be frustration, and then there's going to be room for jubilation and joy. So. So good luck, <laughs> you know, so good luck. Take it easy, good luck. And, um, you know, take it easy and good luck. I wouldn't stress it out right now. You know, there's a lot of time to stress things out in relationships. We had to make it through the astrology before we could even decide what to do on relationships. So uh, a lot of us are making it through the astrology. There's still a ways to go. I don't really think we're going to be free of anything until like after November. So just take it all with a grain of salt. Be, you know, forgiving to everyone and um, see where your journey leads you. You know, just just do your best and we'll take it from there. All right, next. Eight of Swords. Oh, my God. Good job, Sonny. All right, what's next? One more card. Let's see. Let's check it out and then we'll get on to the horoscopes. Hey, Mike was there. He's right. Son, that's right. That's why I'm never taking inviting Mike to my any bachelor parties. Not that I'll ever have another bachelor party again. Hey, Gingy. All right. Have a super, super amazing night. But it was Mike, New Age Tarot. He's the one who recommended that I listen to the little voice. That's right. Sonny, go do it. Nobody's watching. Whatever. Nobody's going to know. Shit. You're not even going to remember tonight. What? Yeah. That's right. New Age Tarot. <laughs> Listen to the little voice. Shut up. Okay, 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 I'll stop it. And finally, Eight of Coins Reverse. Look at that. You guys aren't getting your work done. Huh. Or studies or problem in studies. Check this out. Eight of Coins Reversed. Look at this. Anyways, guys, check it out. Eight of coins reverse. So you guys aren't, something is going on with your studies. Anyways, new types of communication. Someone's checking out. Someone's emotionally adult, indulging a little bit. We're not seeing everything. There's a bit of a blind spot happening. And then we have the, the eight of coins reverse. So the studying's not getting done. You guys aren't finishing your chores, so to speak. So just take it easy. You know, get back to work this week. You know, this, these are the weekly horoscopes. Get back to work. Figure it out. I don't think the shoe's going to absolutely drop on anyone. But just watch out for arguing along the way. I don't think I saw a little, I don't think that I saw any arguing in the horoscope. So just take it all easy. Take it all with a grain of salt. And we'll, uh, you know, we'll see what I can do. We, not what I can do. We'll see what we can do. All right, Vortex. First up. First up. Okay, first up. Not first up, but Vortex is up. So we'll do the first one for Vortex, and then we'll get on to Aries here. So Vortex is for your relate. You really want to know your relationship? All right. Why not? Okay, we're going to do a relationship reading for Vortex, and then we're going to do a relationship with Vortex and Vortex's mom. And I'm going to call that number that Annie sent me to call. Okay. What? Oh, no, it's all cleaned up. And for Annie, this is all cleaned up, cleaned up, I think. Okay, here we go. Vortex, let's check on with you and your mom. <laughs> Mike, that was funny. <laughs> you promise. Oh, my God. All right, whatever, man. <laughs> I'm psychic. I knew we were going to have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever use that line? Hey, I'm psychic. I know we're going to have a good time. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's right. You had me it. Okay, enough, 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 enough. Okay, Vortex is up. Let's see what's going on with Vortex and Vortex's 
see what's going on with Vortex's relationships. All right, Vortex, here we go. Page of coins reverse. So Vortex, it looks like um, someone is looking for, I know this is a weird thing to think, but the coins are actually about comfort and security. I know it thinks we think it's all about money, but it's not really. And the page of coins, are it's about financial lessons. And it's reversed, meaning someone is not learning their financial lessons. So maybe someone is maybe spending a little too much money in the relationships or someone is trying to be too much of a perfectionist in the relationship. And it can, uh, there can be some, there can be some conflicts. Page of coins reversed right now indicates there's probably conflicts uh, that are happening in the relationships. Guys might not be telling each other what's going on because there does seem, it looks like there might be a money problem or a comfort or a security problem or someone just doesn't actually feel safe enough in the relationship or safe in some way, and the message isn't getting through. So you're trying to communicate to someone that you want something a little bit more or you want it a little bit differently. The messages aren't initially getting through. Yep, this is the love reading. Oh, Annie, that's so dirty. Okay, so yeah, Vortex, this is your love reading. So messages aren't necessarily getting through. Then we have the magician again. Oh, this is a great card. So as far as relationships are concerned, you can take your relationship in any possible direction that you want right now. With the magician card, you can manifest it any way. So if you're having a good relationship, you can make it even better. If there's no relationship, you can um, you can manifest it. This card, the magician, this also means someone's going to come along. To, I say it all the time. Someone's going to come along to really shine a light on you to show you uh all that you can do, like all of your potential. The Magician is actually a pretty good card to have in a relationship reading. It really does signify potential. And um, yet you do have the potential to overcome the negative aspect of the reverse page of coins. So Vortex, talk it out, man. If there's a relationship problem, talk it out. Because so far it looks as if you could pretty much do anything that you want. You should be inspiring each other. But I think money is a bit of a problem right now. Then the Page of Swords, or maybe not money, right? But it's like a comfort or a security thing. So you can't physically get together like the kids are getting in the way or something. You know, you can't really spend enough time together. And um, because it's reversed, you're having difficulty figuring out how to get it going. Uh, in addition to that, the Page of Swords is straight up. It's saying you guys got to work on the communication. You know, so whether you're in a relationship or not, you guys got to work on the communication. You guys are going to have to work it out, right? It looks as if the world time isn't the greatest. Okay, Priestess, what's up? <laughs> what's up? Hold on. I have one more card for Vortex's love life. Then we're going to do Aries. And we'll do Vortex mom a little later. So Vortex, you know, talk it out. Whatever's going on in your relationships, talk it out. Page of Swords. Find new ways of communicating with each other. And finally, oh, shit, the death card reversed. So you're going to have to change something, Vortex. Things aren't, it looks like there's so much potential in this relationship, but at the end, it looks like you're probably not going to talk it out. You got to do the Page of Swords. If you don't do the Page of Swords, you're going to be stuck with this death card reversed, meaning someone in the relationship wants to change, but they're stuck. That's the last thing you want to do. So avoid, you know, like avoid namby-pamby behavior. Just get out there and make sure you do it. You know, if there's a problem, make sure you talk it out. This this reading says to me that you should talk it out because there's a change coming and you guys feel stuck. You might be stagnating in the relationship or you're not evolving at the same time that you want to. And it looks like money's a situation and you guys aren't really talking it out. So that seems to be going on with the uh, vortex in the relationship. But there's a lot good. There's a lot of good that's possible in the relationship. But it looks like you want to change things up. So just talk it out, vortex. You know, page of swords, talk it out. And you might get the page of coins, you know, some new kind of uh, situation. All right, next. All right, priestess, what's up? Tell us, what's up? Did you get Did you get married? Did you get the guy? Did the Scorpio guy propose to you? All right, Aries is up. You guys do that while I get ready for Aries. Aries. All right. I'm 
nice fast legs on the Aries. Oh, no way. It, what? Gloria wants to know if she should get a puppy. What? Hold on. Okay, so Vortex say they're the ones that want change, but the other person won't talk about... Yeah, they're not talking, right? You need communication. They're going through their Saturn return. Oh, well, you got to help someone through their Saturn return, man. Vortex, you have to help them through their Saturn return or they're not going to be there on the other side, right? Saturn takes away. So you got to help them through their Saturn return. And Gloria, you should get it. Yeah, I would recommend getting a puppy. You're a Libra. Are Libras getting puppies right now? Well, you're cancer rising, right? Yeah, maybe get a puppy. <laughs> Wait, Gloria, you're can are you cancer rising? Yeah, cancer risings are getting puppies right now. Oh, my God. All right, let's get on with Aries. This is too random for me right now, and I'm recording this. Okay. All right. So we're on the new guy. <laughs> we're on the New York guy. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Let's get down to it. Aries. Aries is up. Always time for gossip on the sunny side. <laughs> it's... Oh man, it's raining rats and frogs. All right, let's get into this. They won't open up, Vortex. Oh, Vortex, you just got to roll with it. A peace-filled weekend, right? Yeah, nice. That's all we want. A little bit of peace. That's right. That's all a guy wants. Just to get a little bit of peace. <laughs> That's it. All a guy wants in life is a little bit of peace. And maybe also a little bit of... <laughs> Whatever, sonny. Stop being such a... All right, here we go. In KC, you're a Cancer rising, but you're born a Gemini, right? Yeah, this is the time for pets. This is the time for pets. What? Gemini? Check it out. Okay, so relationships, pets, right? So for Cancer and for Geminis, Right? Relationships, pets, pets. Yeah, there you go, Gloria. This is a good time for Cancer or Gemini Risings to get pets. All right, everybody chill out. Let's do the horoscopes. Hold on. What? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What did I say? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> what are you guys talking about? <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go. I wrote the horoscopes. Hold on. All right, Wing One, we'll see you soon. You got to haul coal buckets. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Dear Aries. Everybody cool? Dear Aries. <clears throat> you might still be putting a lot of effort into your closest relationships, but the spotlight energy is shifting to your joint finances. What? Oh, yeah, closest relationship, joint finances. All right. Dear Aries, you might still be putting a lot of effort into your closest relationships, but the spotlight energy is shifting to your joint finances. You might be thinking of renegotiating a loan or applying for a grant. Legal issues get kicked up a notch. So get ready to pay those old parking tickets. Parking tickets, Aries. Pay the parking tickets. Okay, you got that, Aries? And finally, love is waiting at a distance. Once again, Aries, you might put, you, you know, a lot of energy is going into relationships, but we're past all of this. So I think you can shake all the relationship drama off for the next little while, Aries. But um, but the sun and Mars are entering into Scorpio. And when the Mars shortly is going to enter into Scorpio as well. When everything enters into Scorpio, there's going to be a lot of energy for Aries to renegotiate mortgages, to try and get a car loan, to, to maybe you're going to, Aries, maybe you're going to lend somebody money. Maybe you're going to make a major purchase for somebody. More than likely, you'll make a major purchase with somebody. And that's what's happening, Aries. So get out there and do it as soon as possible, I say. <laughs> so get out there, have some fun. And you're going to joint finances is the theme for the next little while. Having said all of that, there's a strong possibility Aries are going to be traveling soon. 
And that's the deal. Later on in the Hump Day Horoscopes on the weekend, we'll talk more about Venus going through this little situation here. But Aries, you can easily expect something interesting, probably good, happening to you behind the scenes. Once again, Aries, something good should happen to you behind the scenes. And maybe you'll have a breakthrough in a social group or some kind of online situation that you've been hoping for. I think that's pretty cool for Aries. All right, next. Aries. Let's do it. Okay, next, next. Aries. Oh, my God, Seven of Swords. So, Aries, what the hell, man? Someone's trying to pull a fast one on you or you're trying to pull a fast one. What can you do, Aries? Get out there and watch out for sneaky mofos. Watch out. Sneaky mofos abound. Abound, Sonny. Yeah, they're abound, man. So, Aries, watch out for sneaky mofos or dot the I's, cross the T's. Just watch out for it. Then we have the four of wands reversed. So, Aries, you probably can't get on with getting on. It looks as if you're stuck in a situation because someone's trying to screw you over a little bit. So you're supposed to have this happily ever after, Aries. Things are supposed to work out really well for you, but this damn thing is reversed. So, And it's reversed because the Seven of Swords is right there. So Aries, be careful because it looks like someone's going to try and pull some sneaky stuff on you. Hey, the husband got the new job. Nice. Yeah, that's amazing. Hey, that's super amazing. And to go right on. Congratulations. Oh, well, priestess, you finally met a guy who's not mental. <laughs> so, although I like the other guys. This guy, you finally got a guy who's like got his shiz together. Really sweet. Right on. Okay, and finally, Aries. Hey, the magician is coming up a lot. All right, new beginnings, everybody. The magician. Guys, the magician's coming up quite a bit today. So, new beginnings, manifestation, go make it happen. You guys should know that tomorrow or, or Monday is the day to really make things happen. V Mars is gone, so there shouldn't be very much arguing happening for everybody at all. Uh, you're just going to have to, you know, meet people a little bit more than halfway, give up a little bit to gain a lot in the end. And that's what's going on. But it looks like, although Aries, there's a little bit of BS happening behind the scenes. So just take it all easy. You're going to have to hold off a little bit. But if you push through and you persevere, the magician says everything is going to be okay, Aries. So definitely, I would say Aries, go get him. Next. Taurus is up. Taurus is up. Let's see what's going on with the bulls. Have I really been lollygagging all this time? All right, let's push it through. Let's see what's going on with the bulls. Oh, crud. Crud, crud, crud. For those who know or don't know, I'm still doing a lot of private readings in the background. So if you want a private reading over Zoom, just hit the PayPal link in the description box below and we'll set it up. All right, Taurus. Taurus, you little bulls, little bulls, ooh, little bulls. This little bull will have a bell. Oh, nice bell. Oh, that looks more like a cobra. Oh, cobra. Bulls, little legs, some markings on them. Bulls got little cow tattoos. All right, here we go, Taurus. You are up. <laughs> Taurus is awesome. You don't want to give in on your birthday. Ooh, all right. Hey, no way, priestess. Yeah, definitely taking Vortex advice. All right, Taurus, time stamps. Let's go. Let's plow through these horoscopes. All I'm going to do is sit here and go gaga over Taurus. <laughs> so, Taurus. Plus, I've got to... Uh, I really have a lot of stuff i got to take care of right now. Okay, Taurus is up. Taurus. All right, Taurus, here we go. Dear Taurus. Dear Taurus. Taurus. Oh, God, I stared into the lights. Okay, dear Taurus. Should you stay or should you go? Taurus, should you stay or should you go? Mixed signals in love have you questioning life on the other side of the fence. Whoa, Taurus. You thought it was hard to jump over the moon. Money is still available if you let someone else pay for their share. 
Taurus, let someone else pay for their share. It's joint finances time for Taurus. Look at this. It's joint finances. Let someone else foot the bull, Taurus. A, now, Taurus, a difficult legal battle looms on the horizon. Got that? A difficult legal battle looms on the horizon. You guys can see that. We've been talking for that for a while. Okay. Love says to turn things up a little bit. Hey, Cece, what's up, beautiful? I hope you're having an amazing day. All right, Taurus. Love says kick it up a little. Whoop, whoop. Don't knock anything up. Damn. I'm used to my cameras being, but I don't have any cameras. It's my computer. All right, whatever. All right, so Taurus, here you go. Should you stay? There are definitely mixed signals in love, but watch this. Right now, you have the money. You have the money to do whatever you want. Venus in the eighth house, in addition to attracting death, especially death by poison or death by water, uh, in addition to that, watch out for, uh, and, and cheating in relationships, Taurus, watch out for that. Money's good, but you're going to have to, but you're going to, people are going to give you the money to do stuff but more than likely, you're going to have to do it with them. So if you want to do something right now with Venus in the 8th house, just ask some peeps to tag along and get them to foot the bill. And there you go. That's how it works. And that's how you're going to move your south node to your north node as well, if you guys were wondering how to do that. But that's how you do it. On the negative side, Taurus, Mars is about to enter a little later on, maybe next week. Mars is going to enter into the 7th house for Taurus and you're going to have some very serious enemies coming back at your Taurus, so watch out. What do you want me to do, man? It's like I can't do it. You know, I just got to read your horoscopes, right? Sure, Al. Sure, we don't just have to use... We could use other things. We could use platforms other than Zoom. You can use Skype. You can use Google Hangouts. Maybe Facebook Messenger. There are lots of different ways we can do it other than Zoom. But lots of different ways to do readings, whatever is most convenient for you guys. All right, Taurus is up. Man, you guys think we're going to get that card again? What the hell? Okay, here we go. Temperance reversed. All right, guys, Taurus, you're going to, you're not going to, you know, I know I told you guys you're going to have to meet someone halfway this week. Um, you're going to have to, everybody's going to have to capitulate, but temperance is reversed. Taurus isn't going to do it. So, Taurus, you know, you have that temper. Watch out. You have that temper and you can be stubborn. So just because things aren't going to work out for you at the beginning of the week, you got to keep your temper in check. Oh, my God. Six of Wands reversed. No, Six of Wands reversed doesn't mean you're going to lose. Sometimes it does. But it means victory is going to be delayed. It can mean that somebody's going to cheat you. Taurus, watch out. Somebody might want to cheat your ass. And they might try and take away your victory. They might reverse the six of wands, which is your victory. So maybe someone said they were going to meet you halfway, Taurus. Maybe someone, it seemed like a good idea at the time, but it looks like this six of wands is reversed. So someone's going to try and absolutely mess your game up. I bet you guys thought I was going to say, fuck you, a new asshole, right? But no, I said, absolutely going to mess you guys up. So Taurus, watch out. And finally... Private readings are still 115 indigo, but I'm going to... Hey, Sue, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Private readings are still 115, guys, but they're going to go up to 135 as well. And so, or I might do a thing where they're 150, 150 and then I'll do a thing for 95. But right now they're 115, but they're definitely going up. Because this chick I'm watching has half the subscribers I have. She obviously never written for a newspaper. She obviously doesn't teach her. Like, and she's charging... 75 bucks for mini astrology readings online. She doesn't even show this shit. I'm like, what the hell? Anyways, Ace of Wands reversed. Taurus. Taurus, this doesn't look... Taurus, watch out. Just watch out for sneaky people. You're going to have to be patient. But see this? Ace of Wands reversed is okay for Taurus. For a sign like Aries, very much not okay. But a sign like Taurus, it's okay. Taurus, someone's going to try and... It looks as if they're going to meet you halfway, but they're not. It's going to seem like a good idea, but it's not going to be. Someone is working against you, and that new beginning you're hoping for, Taurus, is, is not going to come right away, so watch out for it. All right, next, Gemini, and then we're going to get back to Vortex. Taurus, Gemini. Oh, Taurus, I wish I had a better reading for you guys. All right. The horoscope seems okay. All right, Taurus. 
Gemini. Oh my god, and out of the blue, solar fire started working again on my computer. Out of the blue, it stopped working, and out of the blue, it's working again. Oh, crud. I can take a better picture than that. He missed Aries. Aries is going to be okay. Okay. Gemini. All right, Gemini is up in a sec. <laughs> One sec, everyone. Okay, Gemini's up. What was that? How do you become your rising sign? Oh my God, you are your rising sign. Whether you realize it or not, you are your rising sign. Or you come across as your rising sign. You should be able to feel you should be able to feel your rising sign. When you travel, you should be able to feel your rising sign. When I'm in Vegas, I'm in Aries rising and I can feel it. When I'm in Sedona, I'm in Aries rising, I can feel it. And when I'm in Vancouver, I'm a Pisces rising. I can I can feel it. You should be able to feel your rising sign. All right, next. It's it's you really you really are. You should feel it change. And whether you do or not, people are going to see the change in you. All right, Gemini is up. Let's do it. Dear Gemini, problems in love. Oh, Gemini, problems in love. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Dear Gemini, problems in love may have smoothed over, but there's another battle on the horizon that you might not even have time for. What? Battle on the horizon? What? <laughs> Where is this battle coming from? I guess this is going into here. It's going to be busy. You're not out of it yet, Gemini. You're still fighting in relationships. Okay. Dear Gemini, problems in love may have smoothed over, but there's another battle on the horizon that you might not have time for. Life is about to get very busy, so be prepared. Mercury... Okay, so here's a neat one. Gemini, Mercury has you rethinking what you really want in the realm of romance. God, so there you go, Gemini. Mercury right here, it's been cruising back and forth in your astro sector of love and creativity. So Geminis have been working on creative projects. They're thinking about kids. They're talking about kids. And they're talking about love and romance. Gemini's trying to figure out what they want in their love and dating game. On the plus side, Venus is cruising through the seventh house. So actually, Gemini should be feeling pretty good right now. <laughs> Geminis, Geminis should be pretty good in the world of committed relationships in Gemini should be good in committed relationships. Gemini should also be winning legal battles right now. Just watch out because this Venus, it's going to, the rose colored glasses are going to come on. So you guys, so Gemini's, you might find out some bad news or some sneaky shit about your partner in the next day or so. So just be careful. I'll say it again. You might find out some sneaky stuff about your partner or your partner might be on full display or people find out something about your partner or you and your love life. Watch out for it, Gemini. Astrologically transiting, it's a very good time for Geminis and cheating in relationships and a very good time for divorce for Geminis. Uh, but at the same time, it's a very good time. Venus is smoothing, smoothening, smoothening things out. Shortly, Mars is going to cruise into Scorpio. When Mars cruises into Scorpio, Geminis are going to be so busy that you're not even going to care about anything. You're just going to be so busy. All right, that's the action. Let's see what's going on for Gemini and the Tarot. Projects. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, that's really sweet. Hubby's a Gemini. He's arguing with your teenager. Yeah, seriously. Hey, Sophia, what's up? Welcome to the sunny side. I hope you're having a super amazing day. Okay, here we go. 
Knight of Swords reversed. So what are you going to do? <laughs> Knight of Swords reversed. So this is running around, running around, waiting for information, waiting for communications. So Gemini's, it looks like, so it looks like Gemini's are going to have to do a lot of running around for information this week. A lot of filling out paperwork for Gemini's. Uh, you're going to be running around, but it's going to be all effed up. So Gemini's, Mercury was retrograde. So take it all with a grain of salt. Do your best. But it looks like you're going to be rushing around for a lot of information and filling out paperwork this week. And it's going to be totally donkeyed out. So watch out, Gemini's. Page of Wands. You're going to have to find new ways to navigate through everything, Gemini. Uh, you have an absolute learning curve. If you think this is the way, the thing, if you go, this is the way out, forget you, Gemini. This is the situation where you're going to have to figure things out. There's an absolute way to do it. Information is not your friend this week, but you're going to have to figure it out fast. Then the Nine of Wands. You get a little bit of a break, a little bit of a reprieve before you get to move on to something new. So Nine of Wands. So that's it, Gemini. Watch yourself. You're going to get a little bit of a break, but don't sleep on anything. It's almost time to get back to work. So whatever's going on this week, Gemini, whatever legal stuff you have this week, just clean it up and move it on to the next level. Just take the steps, take your time, pause, do it, and then move on to the next thing. All right, one more. Cancer. We'll do cancer, and then we'll do vortex. All right, crab time. You crab time. Spunky, what's up? I hope you're having a super amazing day. We're just doing the horoscopes, my man. All right, Spunky. All right, here we go. Cancer is up. Where are all the crabs on the channel? It's been all Virgos. It's been Virgos. And uh, who else has been hanging out? Where are all the crabs? Okay, here we go. A lot of Pisces hanging out these days. Okay, so, Cancer. Here's a chubby little crab. There's a chubby little crab. It looks like an M&M. &M. Um, M. There we go. I'm not going to look a rash on his face. Okay, here we go. Cancer's up. Timestamp. Thanks, Indigo. I'm a Scorpio as well. Oh, right on. I'm actually doing a reading yesterday for a Scorpio. Long time Sunny Cider. Very cool. Hey, Sunny. Long time Sunny Cider. First time Pisces. What? <laughs> That's right. Oh, your sun is a Cancer. Right on. And Vortex is a Cancer rising. All right, here we go. This is for the crabs. Dear Cancer. Cancer. Here we go. Well, wing one's a crab, dancing crab. <laughs> Dear Cancer, you currently have more hours in the day than you know what to do with. What? Dear Cancer, you currently have more hours in the day than you know what to do with. A little goofing off continues to be in order. But while you're at it, while you're at it, you might want to look into some good habits moving forward. Love is about to give you a rosy glow. Ooh! Crab, ooh, crab with the rosy glow. Did someone say pinch on the bum? Sonny, no. <laughs> Just read what you wrote. Okay. Love is about to give you a rosy glow. So be cool and play your cards avec amour. What? I mean with love. All right, here we go. Dear Cancer. Okay, Cancer, so you have a lot of free time in your day. Uh, you're about to... Okay, so that's the deal. First, free time in your day. Second, there is major... F-U-C-T action in the game of love. <clears throat> I'm warning you guys. Pluto is has to retrace all of this nonsense. So you guys are going to all go through whatever nonsense you went through from cancer birthday time at the middle of June all the way through till the middle of October. You guys are all going to walk through that BS. So good luck. And you're going to do it, everybody, not just the crabs here. So watch out for all of that. And that's what's going on with crabs. It's in relationship situations. So be very cool. Be very careful about it. Cancer has to watch out for gaining weight. They have a lot of free time in their day. They might be getting a little heavy on the munchie patrol. 
And that's the deal. Soon, Mars is going to enter into the Scorpio. When Mars enters into Scorpio, Cancers are going to put a lot of energy into a creative project. And there's a strong possibility the crabs are going to get pregnant soon. All right. Bummer. What? No, the crabs are going to get a little loose in the shell. They're going to be like, did you do? They're going to be like, how, okay, whatever. How, whatever. How am I supposed to know how cancers, crabs recreate? I think, don't crabs lay eggs? How do you cancers make love? Do you guys like, I know you guys bleed people to death. That's the way of making love. Is it brighter in November? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it really is, Wing One. Things are going to get a lot better in November. Actually, everything is going to get good. Everything's going to get a lot better um, towards the middle of this week. Everything's going to get better towards the middle of this week. We just have to make it through the next couple of days, and then we're going to be okay. All right, back to work. Cancer is up. Oh, Knight of Cups rushing around for love. So, Cancer, your partner is going to drag you through the uh, gauntlet this week. And not the relationship gauntlet, but like the gauntlet gauntlet, man. They're going to drag you around. You might be rushing around for... What the hell? Where did it go? <laughs> because Cancers might be rushing around for love, rushing around for relationships, rushing around to do... They're going to be cancerish. They're going to... Whoops! Whoops! Oh, no. What did I do? <laughs> cancer is going to be very cancerish. They're going to do their thing. They're going to be rushing around for love. They're going to be they're going to be doing things like running around, literally running around for their partners. Okay, everybody gets it, Sonny. What else? Six of Cups. So there's stuff. There's childhood stuff at play here. Cancers might be talking to childhood friends right now. I think the key for Cancers is to keep it simple. You're rushing around, rushing around, rushing around, but keep it simple. You don't want to hurt, you don't really want to hurt yourself because you're doing things for other people right now. And then we have the emperor. The emperor says that cancer, you have to take control of the situation. Just shut it down, take control for the situation, make sure your needs are met, and don't give in. Be stubborn. Don't be passive aggressive. Be stubborn. Get don't be stupid, right? Be stubborn, but at the same time, don't be mental. And make sure you get what you want and, and do your thing. But lots of rushing around for love this week. All right, next. Crabs are going to be okay. June 21st. Oh, my goodness. That's a wonderful day for a birthday. All right. All right, one more. Leo and then Vortex. Okay, well, Vortex is on this hook. I'm stringing Vortex along. All right, but we are cruising through the horoscopes at a nice pace here. Okay, Leo is up. This lady was charging 75 bucks for a mini astrology reading and she wasn't even showing the chart. She's doing it live on YouTube. Oh, what the hell's with everybody? She's a real astrologer though. It's just... No, service. There we go. Who's a good little Leo? Who's a Leo? <laughs> the line looks like it's doing Pilates. All right, here we go. Leo's up. Cancer's not mental. Cancer's fine. They, they have a bad reputation for a reason. And but I think the reason's fine. I don't... I do judge, but like, so what? <laughs> so, so what? Here we go. You guys are zooming today. Yeah, we're cruising along pretty good. Okay, dear Leo... Hold on. These are usually, yeah, 113. Yeah, we're a little slow today, but I'm taking it easy. It is a wonderful day. I'll teach you guys. Let me tell you guys something about stuff before we move on. You guys know something. You have to listen to the universe. You actually don't have to listen to shit if you don't want to. Oh, my hair is all messed up, man. I just bleached my hair and it's having a bad life experience. You don't have to. So Mike's right. Leo in Taurus, oh my God, <laughs> Leo in Taurus. Hold on a second, let me tell you guys something. Mike's right. 
you have to listen to the voice. But it's not just the voice, because it's not always easy to hear the voice. It's, and maybe your voice is an asshole. So I don't know. <laughs> maybe your spirit guides a dickhead. I don't know. But the, you do have to listen to the voice. But there's more to it than that. You have to listen to yourself. You have to listen to what you're asking the universe very specifically. And then when you hear that come along later, like they, I told you guys, when I was on my journey, I wasn't sure where I was going. I had no idea where I was going. I was going to Vegas and then LA and then, uh, but, and I didn't know why I was doing, like I, I knew I had to get out of town. So I was doing, and then, but I saw signs all the way, signs throughout my journey which indicated that I was in the right spot. Very clear signs. Very, very, very clear signs. And now that I'm uh, doing my thing today, very, very clear signs that I'm supposed to be where I am. And although it's not always easy and we don't want to accept it, I think the same thing with you guys. There should be very clear signs. And you're going to find it in the language. You're going to find it in things written down. You're going to find it in murals on the wall. You'll find it in your own hopes, dreams, aspirations. You'll find it in your own language. You'll find it in your subconscious. And, oh, wow, it's a long time since I talked to you guys like this. Well, I'm the master hypnotist. I'm the one who's supposed to talk about it. But whatever. So that's what the that's what the deal is, guys. You don't have to sit there and go like, oh, I'm psychic. Uh, although it helps. Um you just have to listen for the signs that might not be so obvious. In Freemasonry, we talk about, we call them casual signs and tokens. Just got to be aware of it, man. All right. Or not. You guys can just do whatever. All right. Next. Leo is up. Back to work. Leo's up. Although I thought it was pretty cool when I picked a troll card earlier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. All right, here we go. Leo is up. Lee, oh, dear Leo, this is the last week. Leo, this is important. Dear Leo, this is the last week to officially watch for traffic accidents. Okay, Leo, watch out for traffic accidents. But danger still looks, lurks around every turn, so be careful out there. You're still glowing in the land of love and romance. Got that, Leo? You're absolutely. Leo, Leo Risings are so on fire right now. It's not even funny. Leo Risings, oh my God. They've got like, they could use Leo's Leo Rising underwear to light tiki lamps right now. Seriously. You guys ever do that? Go to a party and they're like, oh, we're out of matches. That's, but that's what's, that's what's going on. Leo is super hot right now. All right, let's get back to it. Leo, this is the last week to officially watch for traffic accidents. Oh, well, pff, there you go. Leo rising, traffic accidents. But danger still lurks around every turn, so be careful out there. You're still glowing in the land of love and romance, so smile big and have some fun. Oh, typo, okay. Be careful when on the prowl. Also, be careful when on the prowl, Leo's are currently getting pregnant. Ooh, Leo is a very good time for babies and making them. So get out there and have fun. Hey, Frankie, watch your driving and watch out that you don't hurt yourself with the, you know, there are no zipper injuries here. Sonny, no way, man. I'm a button fly kind of guy. All right, well, make sure your button doesn't fly in the wrong direction. <laughs> okay, so whatever. All right, Leo's. Leo's, although you're super romantic right now and very good time for creative projects and children, you're not actually loose in the zipper. <laughs> Leo's not actually loose in the zipper. Not yet. Leo's will be loose in the zipper in around January or so. But it's a very romantic time for Leo's. And it's a very good creative time for Leo's. And it's a good time for the kids. Short Leo's uh, watch for traffic accidents. Soon, Leo's are going to put a lot of energy into the home. Leo's might be thinking about moving or restructuring or doing some kind of action with the home and that's the deal with leos all right next oh be careful frankie yeah you don't want to have a wardrobe malfunction and you'll be like i bought the pants like that and she's like but they're like what <laughs> no 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 it's okay 
Hey, Lexus, what's up? I hope you're having a super amazing day. You are right on time. All right, so that's Leo. Let's do the um, the cards for Leo. We are almost at Libra. All right. You're sick. Oh, Lexus. I hope you feel I hope you feel better. Frankie, go get him. You are so attracting so much right now. All you have to do is say, I don't know. I thought it was like, I don't know. It was like, whatever, Sonny. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I'm not a Leo. I don't know what it's like. I don't have nice hair. I don't have the best, the most pressed clothing. Yeah, sometimes I'm a Scorpio. Sometimes I do things when and I fall asleep <laughs> for a day or so. You know, all right, next. Because they're so dry, that's right. Frankie has to watch him because he doesn't have any. Frankie has to watch out that his, he doesn't have any underwear problem right now because his underwear is all dry. What? I get this all. You guys getting confused. <laughs> I'm getting confused. I'm, I'm back off on the technology. Oh, my goodness. You and Barrett sick. Ah, oh, oh, I hope you guys get well shortly. Okay, let me get back to it. Leo, oh my God, Knight of Cups. Did I just write, shuffle the cards or not? Leo, Knight of Cups. Well, I'll tell you in a second. Uh, so you're going to be rushing around, running around for love, Leo. Oh my God. Should they buy another mirror? Libras? Oh my God. No, Libras are just share. Libras will share the mirrors. <laughs> not the mirrors, Sonny. Libras, Libras are good at sharing. I don't know about the mirror, though. <laughs> Libras are good at sharing a lot of stuff, but I don't know about the mirror. Oh, my God. Hold on a second. Frankie, running around for love. Leo's, Leo Rising, Knight of Cups, running around for love. Page of Cups reversed. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> so, Knight of Cups, rushing around for love. Page of Cups reversed. Watch what you say. Watch what you say. Leo's are lucky in love right now, but, like, Page of Cups reversed. Oh, Leo, Leo, you're gonna like if I were like if you don't know already, guys, if you don't know already, shake up your game a little. <laughs> shake it like the astrology is so messed up right now. Shake up your game a little. Got it, Leo? Oh my god, the moon card. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So the moon card, there's gonna be some deception. And confusion. Oh, my God. Well, Leo does, doesn't does usually lack in confidence. Leo is one of the most confident sign I know. Uh, so, Leo, watch out. There's deception afoot. There's confusion afoot. You might have a tape it down or tuck it under experience. It doesn't say that money is going to be a problem. It doesn't say anything. It just says you're going through a new experience. You're rushing around for love. Your intuition is going to be off, and it's going to be a little bit weird. So, just watch out, Leo. Your intuition is going to be off, but I definitely think there's a lot of love and a lot of fun and romance for you this weekend anyway, seriously. I think it's going to be fun for Leo. All right, next. The moon is definitely hiding things. Libras need a mirror. What? Hey, Juliet, what's up? I hope you're having an amazing day. Pisces. Oh, my God, Erica. <laughs> That's right. The last thing in this entire world, I will... No, I'm just... Next. Okay, let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. Let's focus. We have to do Vortex in a minute. Virgo is up. We'll take a break after Libra and do Vortex. Virgo is up. Let's see what's going on with the Virags. There's something about a Christmas time. Really? What, Sonny? Like Christmas? A little bit. Why are you so grouchy, Sonny? It's not me, man. It's the astrology that's making me grouchy. How is that even possible? I don't know. Are you having this conversation inside of the head or outside? Apparently outside today. There's a little Virag. giving the finger to everybody. Okay, Virags, let's do it. Hey, Frankie, go out and get him. 
It's October already. Oh, I know. I'm having difficulty. I know. I've been. I spent the lot. I spent all of September on Lexus's couch. <laughs> so I, I spent. I spent literally three straight weeks sitting on Lexus's couch or sitting in Lexus's backyard. <laughs> I say, oh, inside voice. What? Oh no, your Leo, your Leo grandson kissed a girl in school, and told on himself. Oh my God! Oh, right on. Well, hopefully Frankie does some girl kissing this weekend as well. But guys, we have a lot of time to go. I mean, it's only it's not even it's not even Monday yet. What are you talking? About? Oh my God! You set up a date for a girl next week. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't even imagine a girl remembering me that long. <laughs> it's so good. And I have my own YouTube show. <laughs> so like, I can't even all right, all right, all right. Let's get back to it. Virag is up. All right, Virag is up. <clears throat> so, all right, Virag. <clears throat> All right, this is for Gabrielle and all the other Virogs hanging out in the background. Dear Virog, money will continue. Oh, Virog's got Scorpio vision. Oh, I get it. I get it. Sorry, I'm, I'm slow right now. She's got the LASIK Scorpio vision. Okay, I got it. Hey, Jules, what's up? Dear Virog, money will continue to hold your attention for another week. Then it's time to work the phones. You guys know all that already, right? Money's going to have your attention, then it's time to work the phones. You guys know that already. Reach out and say hello to someone special. All right, Virag, here we go. Money will continue to hold your attention for another week, then it's time to work the phones. Reach out and say hello to, uh, special, to someone special. You're not technically in a love cycle, but it's coming. It's coming, right, Virgo? The love cycle's coming. You see it right there. You're not technically in a love cycle, but it's coming. And you want to be fully prepared when it arrives. So continue to spruce up the house and get ready to let love in. Spruce up the house right now. Good things are also happening to your parents, Virgo. So that's the deal. As we move through the signs and we move this way, you're going to see that the focus is going to shift. So Virgo's money, how to make money, you know, it's a question mark right now. So figure it out. A lot of money in, a lot of money out. Things are expensive. Shortly, you're going to be talking up a storm and you're going to be very busy, Virgo. Virgo, watch out in moving forward that people don't blame you for things you didn't do. Excuse me. Virgos very sure they're going to get busy. Virgos are going to get into, excuse me, get into car accidents shortly. So Virgos, watch out for all of that. Virgos, absolutely watch your health. Watch for accidental pregnancies. And Virgo, get out there and have some fun. Virgo, do your best. Like, make yourself look good right now. I know you are, right? Like, I know you are. But really do that. Spruce yourself up. Spruce the home up. Make yourself look good. Soon, you're going to be in love mode. So, like, I like Virgo, just get your, like, keep working on your game. Keep working on your game. Everything is going to be good. See, in January, when Neptune moves forward, you're going to be uh, in a major, you're going to be in love. Like, it's going to be good for you. So, right now, Virgo, get your game, uh, get your game back together. All right, Virog, let's see what the cards say. Maggie. Hey, Maggie's a Virgo as well. So, oh yeah, Virag. She's a Virag right there. Yeah. Maggie's a Virag. Hey. Maggie, what's your rising sign? You're a Leo. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're a Virgo. Are you a Leo rising? Virgo, Leo rising? All right, here we go. Vortex is up. No, Libra then Vortex. So we're more than halfway done. <clears throat> 
I spoke to a guy today that I had haven't seen in about a year. Seriously. It was great. It was great to see him. Oh, Libra. Ooh. All right, Libra's up. Yeah, tell Bear to get his stuff together. He might get pregnant. Oh, it's Sunday night. Hey, I forgot it's Sunday night. Oh, time to chill out. I was looking forward to this all week. You know, guys, I look forward to hanging out with you guys on Sunday. I look forward to the hump day horoscopes, although I don't always get a chance to do them. And I look forward to hanging out with you guys on Sunday. And I look forward to teaching the class on Monday. Big days. And also the Friday horoscopes I really like to do. So those are big days. But I forgot today was Sunday. Right on. Yeah, have a glass of wine, guys. I'm having a glass of wine. You guys have a glass of wine. Vortex magic. I really changed. <laughs> Thanks, Wind One. The a bunch of stuff happened. A bunch of stuff happened while I was hanging out with Lexus in the Vortex. I can't remember what it is. Like there was something that happened to me recently. I'm kind of going through a reset. Well, I was also vegan. Right? Lexus is vegan. I was vegan. And I kind of went through a reset. I'm I'm quite sensitive to certain things now. And um, it's interesting. I, I, you know, I recommend spending time in Sedona. If you guys get a chance, I recommend spending time in Sedona. Or it, it's expensive, but I totally recommend. Okay, here we go. Back to work. Libra. Dear Libra, with all of the big planets moving forward, it's time to make some choices in love. Big planets. This one's moving forward in January. So big planets moving forward, big planets moving forward. This guy's not moving forward yet. So don't worry about that or that. Dear Libra, with all of the big planets moving forward, it's time to make some choices in love. On one hand, guys, on, on one hand, you can keep waiting for what you know isn't ever going to be good enough. Guys got that? On one hand, you can keep waiting for what you know isn't ever going to be good enough. Or you can take your chances with door number two. Woo. Or door number two and a half, Libra. Okay, what a Sunday. Okay. Okay, Libra. Okay, so you can... Okay, so Libra, check this out. With all of the big plans... Okay, blah, blah, blah. On one hand, you can keep waiting for what you know isn't ever going to be good enough. Or you can take your chances with door number two. Someone forgotten from memory might just be your way forward into the happiness you've been looking for. Got that, Libra? So, Libra, like, Libra, you're supposed to be super lucky in love right now and super creative and super happy. But Saturn is here. And because Saturn is here, it might be taking love away. It might be taking love away. It might be taking children away. Libras might be having accidental pregnancies. Libras might be having miscarriages right now. Abortions, very strongly, Libras might be having abortions right now. So just watch out for it, Libra. You know, Libra, recently you met somebody. Like This should be obvious in the charts, right? Recently, recently you met somebody, and then it just didn't work. For whatever reason, it didn't work out. Like you weren't aggressive enough, or the guy said something stupid, or you said something stupid or did something, or there was some kind of romantic halo engulfing you guys. But Libra, there's a, there's, you should go try it again. Go through your Rolodex, go through your date thing, and see who came by recently and it was going to work out, but then it didn't work out. Go check it out. In other news, money's going to hit the pooper. <laughs> there you go, Libra. Money's going to hit the pooper. So watch out for it. Also, you're probably thinking about getting a new tattoo. Next, Libra. Hey, Tally, what's up? Yeah, Sedona is awesome. I spent the last couple of weeks, I spent like almost an entire month in Sedona. I spent three weeks there. Oh my God, Gloria met a cancer. Uh oh. Uh oh. Next. Libra, cards. Four of coins. Watch your money, Libra. Four of coins. 
Watch your money. It's time to, Lieber, it's time to get a little cheap, a little bit stingy. It's time to, it's Lieber, it's absolutely time to watch your pennies. And that's the deal. You've worked really hard. Lock it up. Watch your money. Oh my God, the world card. Libra, you are back at the beginning. So I don't know if you started talking with someone and it didn't work out or like some guy is being an asshole or like somebody wants money from you or somebody just doesn't give you whatever. You're back at the beginning. Whatever it is, Libra, you're back at the beginning. You're at square one and you're like, damn, isn't this guy ever going to change? And the answer is no, they're not going to change. And then finally, we have the page of swords. So Libra, communication, new types of communication. Get out there, reach out. Libra, reach out, reach out, reach out, and uh, make it happen. But it's new love, Libra. It's not reach out to like, hey, that asshole ever going to call me back. It's not like that. Break free. Look, the world card, Libra, the world card. You got to break free from the same old bullshit that's been dragging your ass and go stretch on something new. All right, next. Vortex is up again. The transits will have to wait. Vortex. 135. Let's go see what's going on with you and your mom. I like to take these little breaks. Oh, the rising sign, Maggie, is super important. It's You don't even realize half the time. When I was away traveling, I did a lot of watching people's rising signs and how they behaved, mostly according to the rising signs. It was it was like like it was unbelievable. It was it was really fascinating to see people really do behave like the rising sign. But obviously, they're not. You're not your rising sign. Just because you look and behave a certain way doesn't mean that that's who you are. Unless. Obviously, you only care about, you know, skin deep. Like, you know, it's like being left-handed. <laughs> you know, your rising sign is like being left-handed. You can't judge someone entirely because they're left-handed. It's such a silly thing to do. So to judge someone entirely from the rising sign is just such a silly thing to do. Unless you like, you know, guys who are tall, then by all means, judge the rising sign. Or unless you like girls that you know, have a certain body characteristic, then by all means, go judge the rising sign. If you're looking for a little bit more, then check it out. All right, Vortex, Vortex and Vortex mom. Here we go, Vortex in the relationship with Vortex's mom. Hey, the fool card reversed. Well, Vortex, it looks like you guys try and start things over and over and over again, and it never works out. So, I don't know, Vortex, maybe you guys are trying to start something new with your mom or you're trying to turn over a, a new leaf or something or you're getting ready for some new adventure or some kind of thing with your mom, but it doesn't look like it's going to work out, Vortex. It looks like it's not being, um, it's not beginning on a good footing or someone is forcing someone else to do something. Look, then we have the priestess reversed. Vortex, this thing with your mom doesn't look good at all. It looks like somebody's hiding something from you. There appears to be control issues. Somebody's hiding something from you. There's this new beginning. Maybe you got like whatever new beginning you guys are supposed to have. It's not getting off to a good foot. It's getting off to a really bad foot, actually, because they don't want to see like because someone's hiding something and someone they're, they're hiding or standing in your way. Oh, my God. Then the five of coins reversed. It looks like someone wants money from you as well. You know, whenever you get money involved, it opens up a new it opens up another realm of experiences because, you know, maybe people don't want to tell you something or they're hiding something from you because they just don't have the money to do it. And so it doesn't mean they don't love you or they don't care. Maybe they just can't afford you right now. But whatever, whatever. This reading vortex clearly says that money's a problem. Someone's hiding something from you and you can't get that new beginning that you're hoping for. So vortex, watch out, man. Page of Swords. And finally, Vortex, Page of Swords. It looks like there's going to be some... Um, looks like you're going to have a breakthrough. <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like you're going to have a breakthrough. So everything in the background looks pretty rough. The Fool card, you know, reversed. That beginning's not happening. The Priestess reversed. Someone's lying to you. 
the you know for someone standing in your way the five of coins reverse someone's trying to suck money from you it all looks really bad vortex but then the page of swords at the end of the day it says you guys are going to have a communication breakthrough maybe there's a learning curve it looks like you're going to learn a lesson through all of this negative stuff now i don't know that you have to go through all of that negative bullshit with your mother but it appears as if you're going through negative bullshit with your mother but if you, i think you are going to find a new way of communicating which might right the ship here but right now, money's going to be dry and someone is absolutely standing in your way. So watch out for it. This is a pretty shitty reading, isn't it? It's pretty crap, Ola. Seriously, you're right, priestess. The way has to be totally clear and totally safe. I agree with it. I agree. I am definitely someone who has... I've been joking about it, but I think I have PTSD right now. <laughs> All right, Scorpio is up. And I'm going to top up my glass. Maggie, what's your rising sign? <clears throat> I'll be back in one sec. What's up, guys? You don't want to go through all of that. All right, okay, next. I don't know what to say, man. I don't take things for granted, per se, in life. But I don't know. I go more than halfway. I go way more than halfway. If I want to go, like if I want to help someone, I'll go way more than halfway. Way more than halfway. But if I don't want to, I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> so it all depends on the person. And all depends on the person. Excuse me, but I'm not going to judge. Tally, we're going in the order of the signs. And they are, there are timestamps in the description box. Okay. Shit, I didn't put a timestamp for Libra. Damn. Let's say 130, 130. And Scorpio is going to be... Ha! Huh, Indigo said she's a sun Scorpio Libra rising, so she's driven to make money, then give it all away. No way. That's so funny. Well, that's going to put your son in your 12th house. It's going to make you a little bit reclusive, Indigo, a little bit behind the scenes, but you're probably super hot. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. That's definitely a femme fatale. You guys ready for Scorpio? Next. Old dragon. I'm no old dragon. I'm a young pig. <laughs> I'm the one I'm the one that they send to dragons for sacrifice. <laughs> we got a we got a cute we got a cute blonde pig playing out in the backyard. He's just sitting there drinking wine and reading horoscopes. Maybe we should like sacrifice him to a young dragon. Yeah. Let's sacrifice Sonny. He's not doing nothing. What? <laughs> You're the young dragon I got sacrificed to. Will you roll your eyes? 
what's up? I'm just a pig. They brought me to the feet of the dragon. And then the dragon looked down, the dragon looked down on me and went, Ugh. and I was like, oh, oh, dragons are pretty. <laughs> then, okay. Of course. Oh, from over here? All right, good luck. All right, let me get back to work. <laughs> All right, Alexis is giving the 12th house son in the 12th house nod. So you have Lexus's seal of approval. <laughs> Priestess is certainly ready for the... Okay, here we go. Dear Scorpio. All you Scorpios, any Scorpios watching my horoscopes anymore? There's so many Scorpios on the sunny side and everybody's watching because I think everybody's in a bad relationship with Scorpio right now and they're just looking for ways to fuck over their friendly neighborhood Scorpio. I think that's what's going on. Okay, here we go. Dear Scorpio, why do I keep trying to put a happy spin on these horoscopes for you guys? Oh my God, you know you're hooped. You probably have a good idea of where it's coming from as well. And there's nothing you can do about it except to stay on top of your game. Oh no, Indigo's a Scorpio. Oh no, sorry Indigo, I apologize. I'll find a nicer way for to say this. I'll try it again. Hold on, I'll try and do it. Hold on, hold on. I know all you guys sit here watching the Scorpio horoscopes. Where one, you guys want to know where to stick the knives. You guys already know where to stick the knives in a Scorpio. Okay, here we go. This is for me and Indigo. And for Annie. Stephanie Crawl's still in the house. Here we go. Dear Scorpio, why do I keep trying to put a happy spin on these horoscopes for you guys? You know you're a hoop. You're like hooped. Like, okay, you know you're a hoop. You probably have a good idea of where it's coming from, and there's nothing you can do about it except to stay on top of your game and to use two-ply toilet paper in two spots. Okay, whatever. Keep your eyes and your wallet open. Oh, great. In one more... Who writes this? Crap? Okay, in one more week, you'll have the energy to get back to work. It's almost empire building time again. Dun, 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 dun. That's Scorpio. They're hooped. I don't even know why I write horoscopes for Scorpio. It should just be like dot, 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 see hell beast, and then have a video into his like day. Oh, like so. All right. Good luck, guys. She's going to turn 22, Mike. Oh, my God. Your oldest daughter is going to turn 22. Oh, my God. I don't even think I have a bank account that that's, that's that old. And it's, okay. <laughs> it's really good. Welcome. All right, Scorpio. Let's get back to work. All right, so here we go, Scorpio. Oh, yeah. Well, Scorpio, what are you going to do, man? It's all behind the scenes. Whatever. You're tooped. Whatever. Do I really need to do any more Scorpio horoscopes? Change is coming at home. You're going to have car accidents, computer problems. Money should be okay, but you clearly have nothing in the friends or the career or the health or the love or the relationships. Or the sex. Look at this. Look at this. It's the North Node. Scorpio's only thinking about it. Ah, oh, this sucks. Well, good luck, Scorpio. Let's hope the cards do something, say something different. Money should be good right now, Scorpio. So keep working your butt off. In a week or so, you'll have the strength to push through. But for now, take it easy and do your best. All right. I don't even know why I bother. Oh, because I know why I bother because Indigo's right here. Okay, here we go. Scorpio cards. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, man, looking for an apartment close into the hubby's new job. No way. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, I've been looking for a place closer to my job as well. Seriously, you guys know I'm looking for a place, right? I've been looking for places closer to the internet, but I can't find any. I apparently, I wanted to get a place closer to the internet because I work on the internet now. I wanted to get a place close to work, but it's just too noisy. Well, you know, the information super highway and all, I just didn't like all the traffic. So I stayed, so I didn't, I'm still looking for a place. All right, next, Scorpio cards. 
Scorpio. Oh, wow. Knight of Cups again. <laughs> so you guys are going to do a lot of running around for love. Wow. Is our relationships good for anybody right now? Knight of Cups. Look at this. Rushing around for love. So this week... Scorpio is going to drag you around everywhere. Not Scorpio. We still doing Scorpio? Scorpio, Knight of Cups. Love's going to drive you, drag you all over the place. Seriously. Oh my God. Then the Queen of Wands. You're going to be very nurturing. And this looks like a good week for Scorpio. Why don't you just tell them what the card means? Okay, Queen of Wands. A lot of nurturing energy, nurturing activities. Rushing. This looks like a good week for Scorpio. A lot of love, rushing around for love, a lot of errands. And. Queen of Wands, you're going to have the nurturing attitude. Help is going to be there if you need help, Scorpio. And finally, the Nine of Coins, money's going to be okay. Not great, but it's going to be okay, Scorpio. So get out there. So get out there and do your thing, Scorpio. Not, you know, get out there and play your love game card. I don't know that it's going to be that great, but, you know, at least it's not going to be weird. You should hang out during the day. Scorpio, you know what you should do? You should hang out and try and meet girls during the day while you're wearing shades so that your creepy ass fucking eye stare thing doesn't chase the girls away. So that's what you should do. You should go chase girls during, you should go try and wear shades. Next. What I'm just saying. All right, Scorpio is going to, Scorpio is going to be okay. It's going to hurt a lot for Scorpio. Oh my God, Scorpio, it's going to hurt. <laughs> You're going to get better. Scorpio is going to get better, but it's going to hurt a lot first. You guys look so cute. Look, Scorpio with a little goatee. Oh, my God, little jazz scorpion with horns. Oh, my God, a little dirty. Oh, there's a Okay, whatever, Sonny. I'm so tired. I don't know if we're going to finish. Why do we have 12 signs? Oh, my God. Who are those jackasses who wanted to have 13 signs? What kind of motherfucker would like have 13 signs? That's like... That's like adding another mile to a marathon. Why you, Who would add another mile to a marathon? You know who? Someone who doesn't write marathons. Seriously. Why would you add another? Why would someone add a third? I got to write an extra horoscope. I got to have to write an extra horoscope because someone has fucking confidence issues. Okay. Okay. Sagittarius is up. Well, Scorpio was a nice break. Sagittarius. Serious. Okay, you guys ready? I can do it. You're right, memes. I can do it. Oh, totally, Maggie. I'm like all in or all out. I'm not like a leg hump kind of guy. Okay, next. Sagittarius is up. Almost done, guys. And then I can get on with my afternoon i'm gonna i have something special planned all right Saj, here we go now do the chinese zodiacs oh my god erica knows what the deal is she's like oh my god horse horse i want to go to the, i want to play the giant <laughs> can you imagine the giant thing thing Oh my God, Scorpio's toast, aren't they? Right, Priestess? Scorpio's toast. Oh yeah, you're Scorpio. He's toast. <laughs> oh man, I'm hooped. I could, okay. Yeah, I'm a, sh no, I'm a pig. I'm a pig. Okay. Yeah, Scorpio would definitely take a bullet from their own gun and throw it at you. <laughs> so. Okay, dear Sagittarius. All right, this is for Beagle. Everybody chill out. Dear, do the Superman Zodiac next. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't even think of the nasty, nasty. Okay, next. Okay, it's 7-Eleven. Crystal 7-Eleven. It's 7-Eleven. Time to go get a slice of pizza or a little burrito. Nope, back to work. <clears throat> Dear Sagittarius. Okay, Sagis, here we go. Dear Sag, you're fiery, sexy, hot, and ready to prowl. So what's the problem? Sag, what's the problem? 
Love is encouraging you to simply go for it and forget the rest. You're about, to, okay, so that's all really neat. Okay, that's all really neat. Sad, you're fiery, sexy, hot, and ready to prowl. So what's the problem? Love is encouraging you to simply go for it and forget the rest. You're about to become part of someone's dirty little secret. You guys got that, Sad? You're about to become part of someone's dirty little secret. It's not always hidden enemies. It's not always legal battles. It's not always like someone's trying to screw you over. It's not always, you know, so, you know, Mars is about to head into the 12th house for Sagittarius. And when Mars enters Scorpio, there is a possibility for Sagis to get, you know, cheat in relationships. But, you know, you got to have fun. So Sagis, watch out for cheating in relationships. Watch out for infidelity. Watch out for the death of your partner. Oh, I bet you didn't think I would take it there. You better believe I would. Sagittarius, watch out for your partners getting sick, the death of a spouse. Watch out for mental health problems. But most of all, watch out be, be, Watch out that you, unless you're looking for it, of becoming someone's sexy plaything. And that's the action. Sag, you look really good. And Mars is moving into your astro sector of secrets. So there you go. Oh, what screen is this? This is the wrong screen. All right, Sag, let's see the cards. Hey, angel guide. Is that stressing you out these days? In your world, <laughs> in your world right now, are people stressed out that October and November Scorpios, they're saying they're the same? It's, it's basic astrology, man. All right, here we go. Sagittarius, let's see the cards. Let's see the cards. Let's see the cards. Nine of Wands. Well, Sag, you're having a little battle royale right now as well. Sag, you're having a little ba a battle. I, I actually, I think a Sagittarius. I know this is not a Sagittarius. Well, it is a Sagittarius card. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, it's a little break in the battle, Sag. But don't let your guard down. You still have a ways to go. You have a break in the battle, but be prepared. There's another, there's still more to go. Then the Queen of Cups. This card's come up a number of times tonight. So maybe guys, there's gonna, there might be money there if you're looking for, oh, this is the wrong card. It's the queen of coins. Sorry guys, queen of coins. So, you know, comfort and security is gonna be there. Saj, if you need some help for anything, make sure you ask. It looks as if you're gonna have to call in some resources. You might be pulled away to help some other people financially, but, uh, just don't, you know, just be careful. There's a little bit more fight coming. Oh my God, then we have the world card. So Saj, you've been here before. It looks like it's time for you to take your game to the next level. Saj, if I could implore something, you know, how would you implore it, Sonny? Well, I would talk really loud about it and be use emotional words like, fuck, <laughs> Saj, you're back at the beginning. It's time for a change. It's time to take your game to the next level. It's going to take an effort, but you have the money and you have the money and you have the effort. You have the way to do it. Sag, it's time to ascend. It's time to take your game up a notch. Uh, I was trying to be really nice with the horoscope, Sagittarius, but you do have haters on the way. So according to the, maybe according to the tarot, if you match it with the astrology, you're going to have to up your game a little bit, Sagittarius, because I think the haters are going to be coming out of the woodwork soon. Not yet. I think you should have fun and go become part of someone's dirty little secret. You know, Sonny's always about that. But the, uh, you know, Saj, just watch yourself. Okay, next. I like using this PC. Black Sheep bought me this PC. I like it. Annie, I'll call that phone number that you talked about. I'll call it tomorrow. I'm going to be busy, but I'll, I'll give them a call or I'll send them. I can't send texts, right? I have to call. All right. Well, we'll, f we'll figure it out. Capricorn is up. We're almost done. All right, Indico, have a super, super amazing day. Super happy birthday. <laughs> super, super happy birthday. What? What? I'm in trouble. What? I did not even look at the chat. 
What? You guys all talking like this? Uh, I know. I'm giving out all the secrets. Well, I have, I'm so tired these days. I have so much going on. You wouldn't believe, I'm trying to write my books. Lexus has me writing some eBooks and I'm sitting here doing the research and writing them all day. And like, yeah, I'm, it's, it's busy. It's got my stuff going on. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll focus, I'll focus. Capricorn is up. Memes is the Capricorn. Let's do what memes is horoscope. I think memes is gonna have a regular, I think Capricorn is, I can't remember what I wrote, but I think Capricorn's pretty chill. All right, Capricorn, here we go. Dear Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. Dear Capricorn, you might not be especially feeling the love these days, but it's right there hiding in the shadows. Got that, Capricorn? You might not be feeling this love, but it's hiding in the shadows. It's time to take a second look at your public image. See, one sec, let me cut the deck. Mercury's right here at the 10th house. So either you're gonna take a second look at your public image or you're gonna redo a lot of stuff at the office. With Mars here, you might be pushing for a, um, a promotion or a raise or redoing a lot of paperwork. You might have some haters at the office. So you gotta just, Take it easy. Oh, yeah, I knew it was going to get busy as well. Okay, so, so here we go. So, dear Capricorn, you might not be feeling, especially feeling the love, but it's there. It's hiding in the shadows. It's time for a second look at your public image. Capricorn, are you being the person that you want to be? Got it? Are you being the person that you want to be? Even more effort will be required at work. So that's the nonsense. Hey, I'm not snitching on nobody. I sit there. Ask Lexus. I just sit there and think about the future all day long. I, I, all I do is sit there and think about the future and think about what I'm going to write for you guys and think about what I'm going to teach you in class. That's all I do is to sit there. I'm almost done. And then so. All right, Capricorn. Here we go. So Capricorn, here's the action. So. It should be hot. You should be very high visibility. You might, you're not going to see it. See Capricorn, it's behind the scenes. So you're probably doing something sneaky, doing something nice for someone behind the scenes or someone is doing something nice for you behind the scenes. But on the other, you're probably very, very busy at work, very busy publicly, lots of traffic jams, not car accidents per se, but traffic jams. And you're going over the same old nonsense, nonsense at work. Shortly, you might be fighting with people on social media. Capricorn, shortly, you might be fighting people on social media. So watch out. You really should do your best to put your best foot forward because there's going to be a problem. Uh, people that you think are your friends or peeps that you think are your peeps, whatever that means, uh, they might not be Capricorn. So watch out for playing fast and loose in social media. It might come up and haunt you a little bit. Okay, so here we go. Capricorn. Eight of Cups reverse. So someone's gonna, someone's not happy. Someone is looking for a change. Someone is bored and they don't know what to do. But although this is a Pisces card, it's pretty much what Capricorns go through every day, right? So this is about being, so there's, it's time to check out or it's time to look for a new muse. Then we have the Faith card, which is very much Taurus energy. So someone's being a little bit grouchy. As far as Capricorns are concerned, it appears as if someone is being a little bit grouchy, a little bit dogmatic, a little bit, this is the way to do it, this is the way to do it, this is the way to do it, and it's leaving someone else uh, not really enthralled with the entire experience here. Someone might be biding their time. In addition to that, we have the Queen of Wands. So in addition to all of this, you're taking care of each other. It looks like the Capricorn is taking care of everything taking care of all the small details for everyone. And, and, you know, they're having faith, but like, I think they're getting on someone's last nerve. Like the eight of cups reversed is there and they're like, they're just going through the motions, the faith card going through the motions, right? No intuition, no emotions, just going through it. So be careful, Capricorn. It looks like you're stuck in the situation and there's nothing you can do about it. 
So just do your thing and maybe they'll snap out. But like, I don't think they're going to snap out. A Capricorn, I just think you're stuck with it. It's like the kids, right? The kids are being a little blah and you got to roll with it. So, <clears throat> or maybe at work, they're being a little whatever and it's not really working out. You're going to have to seize it. You know, Capricorn, shortly Venus will enter into your first house. And when you do, you'll be... You know, you'll be, you'll be, you'll see the love that you're waiting for. So maybe love might have been backed away a little bit, Capricorn. Same with Aquarius. You know, love is a little bit, where the hell did it go? So just roll with it, Capricorn. And, uh, you know, we'll take it, you know, we'll take it from there. All right, Aquarius is up. What are you guys talking about? What are you guys talking about? Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys are gossiping. Oh, that's right. I literally just sit there and think of new ways to teach everyone astrology in cool ways. Really, it's what I really do. I literally just sit there thinking about it. <laughs> really, and then I, and I really do apply it. I try my best. Oh, thanks, Lexus. That's really sweet. That's really sweet. Thank you. Thanks, Lexus. That really is sweet. Yeah, I really do just sit there and think of different ways to tell you guys, describe it for you guys. Fun and creative ways. I don't just think about it. Fun and creative ways to do it. Oh, my God. I wrote the horoscopes and it's taken me forever to do them. Oh, my God. Okay, well, whatever. Next. Here we go, guys. Aqua Arius. Aqua Arius. I should take the tower out of the deck? <laughs> oh, Pisces is going to be okay. Let's, the, we haven't had the tower in a while, have we? It showed up a lot earlier. Yeah. Okay, P Aquarius is up then Pisces. That's really funny, guys. Okay, so Aquarius. Dear Aquarius. Aquarius, dedication and devotion is the name of the game. The hell is that? It sounded like, are we being invaded right now? Did you guys hear that? Sounded like a jet fighter. Okay, dear Aquarius, dedication and devotion is the name of the game. Time to get stubborn about a personal plan. Okay, now, Aquarians are a stubborn sign, right? But I think what I'm trying to say is Aquarians should really believe in themselves right now. That's what I'm trying to say. You see, Saturn's in the first house, so it's Aquarians should get stubborn and, and really believe in yourself. Forget about all this square. Like a lot of water signs here. Uh, you know, so there's a lot of Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo energy on the channel, right? But Aquarius has got to look out for themselves at times. And this is the time Aqua's got to look out for themselves. Okay, dear Aquarius, dedication and devotion is the name of the game. It's time to get stubborn about a personal plan. A major shift is in the air at work. Yeah, no kidding. Be prepared to put in extra hours to make the boss happy. Love is tempting you hard to come out and play. Oh yeah, love is tempting Aqua really hard to come out and play. So Aqua, find out what it is that you wanna do and put a very solid plan together and tough it out and do it. You have haters at the office, you might be getting a new job, you, have, you are very much in a friends and the lovers transit. So if you're looking for sex or money, go hang out with your friends. That should be really strong right now. You are going to have to go over all the BS that happened in the summer. You're just going to have to do it. So tough that out. Whatever. You know, I've got to tell you that. So whatever BS you went through with Pluto retrograde, you're going to go through it again. So just deal with it. You might be thinking about traveling, but really it's time for... An, you might be thinking about traveling, but most aquas should be settling in, trying to get a new job, and planning for the future. Again, Aqua, I think you should be a little bit stubborn in the situation and um, focus on yourself. Saturn in the first house very much rewards hard work, dedication, and devotion. So let's not be uh, afraid of 
Saturn transits. Let's use Saturn transits. All right. Jules is in Aquarius. Right on. Aw, thanks, Lexus. That's really sweet. I really do. I really do. I do think of you guys individually. I, I sat there and I was telling Lexus, I was like, well, Jisha has this question. And then memes was, was at these classes. And then you guys are at this class. And then memes reads everything. And then I got to worry about gold dust. Yeah, I really do. Anyways, whatever. All right. But you guys keep me on the straight and narrow. And it was because of Lexus where I was able to survive last month. And she has an awesome Airbnb down in uh, Sedona. All right, Aquarius, here we go. Let's finish up. Four of Wands reverse. So Aqua, that happily ever after, you're gonna, you've got a little bit of, of a delay coming along. So Aqua, you got to watch out. You're not necessarily stuck, but if you're starting anything new right now, not new, but breaking into something that you've always wanted to get into, it's going to be an adjustment period. It's not what you expect. Then the Queen of Wands again. Holy crap, Ola. What's with all this Queen of Wands stuff? Well, just take care of business, I guess. Queen of Wands, time to take care of business. Time to get some help, nurture some people, get it all done, be cool, stay out of trouble. But the Four of Wands reverse is going to piss some people off. I think Aqua should be focused. I think Aqua should do Saturn energy and it'll be cool. Then the King of Swords reverse. So Aqua's intuition, things aren't lining up for Aqua right now. You know, if I was Aqua, I wouldn't make any uh, quick decisions right now. I would almost never make any decisions with the King of Swords reverse. This is means your cerebral energy is not functioning right now. Holy shit, did I just use a phrase like your cerebral energy is not functioning right now? It means... You're not seeing things clearly, Aqua, so take it easy. Oh, and the Queen of Wands is right side up, so there you go. Either am I. There you go, Aqua. Take it easy. Don't stress things out. There's a bit of a delay, and you're not seeing things clearly, so I, I would wait if I were you. All right, next. Thanks, Lexus. That's really sweet. Okay. Pisces. How do you spell Pisces? There we go. All right. Aqua, you're going to be okay. Watch for fighting at the office. Long hours at work and fighting at the office. So Erica's boyfriend's got to watch himself. He's going to be working his ass. Oh, wait, did he get... She's going to be working his ass off soon. Which is all cool. All right, Pisces is up. You got it, Jules. You are super welcome. All right, Pisces. <laughs> you got it. All right. This is an interesting one. So some signs are hooped. We're all feeling the same celestial energy, but some it's okay for some and not okay for others. For Pisces right now, this, let's see. This the Pisces is going to go through a money is going. Pisces is going through a money thing, but at the same time, Pisces should be getting new jobs right now. So if Pisces wants to move. Pisces should move forward in life and not hold themselves back because Mars is going to enter into there, and when Mars enters into Scorpio. Pisces is going to want to take action. So Pisces, fuck. So Pisces, you're going to want to be prepared for when the energy arrives. And the energy is going to arrive towards the end of the week. So Pisces should really get themselves in gear here to take advantage of everything that's happening. All right, Pisces. Dearest Pisces. <clears throat> Yeah, Pisces should be good. You spell Pisces, P-I-S-C-E-S. -E what? Okay, Pisces. Pisces, double dearest Pisces. Double check the finances, or better yet,
Oh, Erica, it's, life is, when you're dealing with Pisces, it's all about transcending the physical plane onto the uh, ethereal plane. <laughs> it's, it's, when you're dealing with Pisces, it's all about the fermented experience. All right, dearest Pisces, not dear Pisces, not you, you're a bit of an ass. Dearest Pisces, that's right, the one who always, okay. Dearest Pisces, double check the finances, Pisces, double check the finances. You're not getting away from this. Mercury is just going direct. So double, like Mercury is just going here. Double check your personal finances. It looks like a vacation is on the horizon, but how are you going to pay? Uh, here you go, Pisces. Have someone else tag along to foot the bill. That's the secret of the eighth house. Have someone to tag along to foot the bill. I've been living the eighth house experience for the last two months. Definitely. Do it together. Shared resources, Pisces. Okay, whatever. I'm going to do a video on this guy on this for you guys. Dearest Pisces, it looks like a vacation is on. How about how you have someone else tag along to foot the bill? Love says an office romance is brewing. Pisces, love says an office romance is brewing. Ooh, I hope you like kombucha. Oh, okay, Pisces, here you go. More talk about wine. What? Pisces, almost done. Pisces, the two of cups reversed. Oh my God, finally a love card today. Unfortunately, it's reversed. Yeah, well, what do you want from me? I'm just reading the cards. Two of cups reversed, Pisces. It looks like love is looking good, but for someone else. Oops. It was not my fault. I didn't tell you to swim around chasing the other. Whatever. If you were maybe one fish hanging around at the bar, maybe it would be a little better than two fishes chasing each other in a barrel. Just saying. I don't know. We all look for love in strange places. But for Pisces, here you go. Two of cups reversed. <clears throat> well, it's the cup of union and harmony. When it's reversed, it doesn't suddenly become cacophony. But, like, it's definitely the thing. Damn, strength reversed. Wow, Pisces, you might actually get into a bit of a jealous rage this weekend. Holy jeez. I'd hate to have... I'd hate to be a Pisces right now. All right, well, Pisces, where's the strength card here? Pisces, watch out for getting into a jealous rage. Sincerely. Seriously. The strength card reversed. You're not keeping. You're not going to keep your shiz together. The two of cups reversed. You're supposed to have some loving experience. It's not really working out. Pisces, I don't think this is working out for you. Then the magician again. The magician. Why is this card coming up so much today? All right, sunny siders. Here we go. The magician for everybody. It's time to manifest. This is the last card we're getting today before I book out. It's time to manifest. All right, Pisces, you're going to have relationship problems this week. You're going to get jealous and freak out, whatever. But the magician card is here. And that means however jealous someone makes you, however someone tries to cross you, the magician card straight up like this, it indicates that you could absolutely go sleep with their best friend or their best friend's best friend. Or you could go sleep with someone. You could go have revenge sex on someone. And it's absolutely going to work out. So, Pisces... You know what I say, go be sexy and, and get all your revenge out. That's what I say. Well, I'm on your side. That's your Pisces friend with the Leo woman. Oh, that's kind of romantic. Mike, that's kind of romantic. Pisces and Leo is... Oh, no. Priestess, who's a Pisces, says energy can flow both ways. Hey, Priestess, let's look at the positive of this. So obviously someone's going to get jealous of you, right? The energy does work both ways. Someone is definitely getting jealous. They're definitely going to freak out. But watch out. Don't watch. Forget these two cards here because that's just a regular water sign thing. Everybody gets jealous. But you have the magician card. So it's time to start something fresh. Pisces, something fresh and something new. Got it, Pisces? Something fresh, something new. You have the magician card. Oh, no way. Sunny doesn't use anything as a weapon. Sunny is a weapon. Ooh. Okay, stop it. Okay. So that's the deal. Normally we do lucky in love, but I'm going to blow it off again for today because I got a book out. 
All right, guys, that's the deal. Oh, this is how I look like with my hat on. Oh, my face is good. I've been eating. I've, I've really been eating. I've been gaining weight. It's good. All right, guys, that's the action. I got a book out.